The 18th myth concerns supermassive black holes and can be formulated as follows. Supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies are the primary gravitational force holding the galaxy together. This myth at first glance really does seem logical. Scientists do indeed state that at the centers of all elliptical and spiral galaxies there are supermassive black holes whose masses range from tens of millions to hundreds of billions of solar masses. Because these black holes are located at the centers of galaxies, have enormous mass, and exert a significant gravitational pull, people get the mistaken impression that the entire galaxy revolves around them. That is, a hole appeared, it pulled matter toward itself, spun it around itself, and formed a galaxy, and its gravity is decisive in the galaxy, so everything revolves around the black hole. However, this is not the case. The total mass of the stars in galaxies, according to various estimates, exceeds the mass of the supermassive black hole hole in their centers by hundreds of thousands or even millions of times. For example, the mass of Sagittarius A, the black hole in the core of our galaxy, is approximately 300,000 times less than the total mass of the stars in the galaxy, based on the lowest estimate of the number of stars. Still, the stars are far from all the galactic matter. In fact, the masses of these black holes turn out to be comparable to the total mass of the stars only in the galactic core. Thus, the gravity of black holes turns out to be relatively small compared with the total gravity of the matter in the galaxy. Therefore, a galaxy is held together by the cumulative gravitational force of all the objects that belong to it. And the contribution of the supermassive black hole to it, as we have already said, is insignificant. At the same time, even the black hole itself is actually not located at the galaxy's center of mass. Just like all the other objects, it revolves around the galaxy's center of mass, albeit at a minimal distance from it, which is precisely why the black hole gained such a large mass.